Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'll show you how to create this elegant perfume bottle and blender. We'll go through the entire process, from modeling to adding materials and setting up the final render. So let's jump right in. Start by adding a cube and going into edit mode. Select two side faces and extrude them out by pressing Alt-E. Then choose extrude faces along normals. Next, select the top faces and move them up. Add loop cuts. Select these faces and inset them slightly. Right click, go to loop tools and choose circle. Switch to edge mode, select all the outer edges, then go back to object mode and apply the scale. Return to edge mode and bevel the edges. In the pop-up menu, set segments to 2 and width to 0.1. Go back to object mode, shade it smooth, and add a subsurface modifier. Now, let's create the inside bottle. Add a UV sphere, set segments to 16 and rings to 8, then scale it up. Go to face mode, select half of the faces, and delete them. Select the remaining faces, scale them down, and move them onto the main perfume body. In edge mode, select the top edges and move them up. Then in face mode, scale them in along the x-axis. Select the top edges again, extrude and scale inward. Press F to fill the face, then right click, go to loop tools, and choose circle. Scale it slightly, then extrude it upward. Select the main perfume body, go to face mode, and inset the faces again to match the new shape. Extrude it up, add loop cuts, and delete the top faces. In edge mode, select the top edges, extrude, and scale them inward. Extrude them down, select the outer edges, and bevel them. Go back to object mode, shade it smooth, and increase the subsurface viewport levels to 2. Select the inside edges, extrude, and scale them inward, then extrude up. Fill the top faces using grid fill. Now add a cube, move it up, and shape it to match the design. Apply the scale, then bevel the edges. Next, add a loop cut on the side and bevel it. Select the bottom faces, inset them, and change the shape to a circle. Scale it inward, extrude it down, and delete the faces. To work more easily, press Ctrl-I to invert the selection, then H to hide everything else. Go to Edge Mode, select these edges, extrude and scale them in, then move them up and fill them using Grid Fill. Add loop cuts, then apply a subsurface modifier with viewport level set to 2, and shade it smooth. Hide the main body, then select the inner part and add a subsurface modifier to it with viewport level set to 2. Shade it smooth, add some loop cuts, and bevel the edges. Select the cover, add a loop cut in the middle, and bevel it. Select these edges again and bevel them. Go to face mode and extrude the faces outward. Open a new window or go to the shading tab. Select the main perfume body, create a new material, delete the principal BSDF, and add a glass BSDF. Select the inner part, create a new material, delete the principal BSDF, and add another glass BSDF. Change the color to whatever you like. For the cover, create a new material, set metallic to 1, and reduce the roughness to 0.1. Go to face mode, select these faces, press Ctrl plus to grow the selection, then add a new material slot and assign it. Choose the cover material from the drop-down.
Add a loop cut, select the faces, and reassign the cover material. Let's add the spray tube inside. Just add a cylinder, scale it, and stretch it along the Z-axis. Now, let's make a text label for the model. You can use Canva, Photoshop, or any image editing software. I'm using Paint.net. If you don't have time to create your own label, don't worry. I will put a link in the description if you want to use my own text label. Create a new file, set the width to 1024 and height to 2048, and make the background black. Add your text, choose a font style, and when you're done, save the image. Go back to Blender, select the main perfume body, go to face mode, and select the faces where you want the label. Press Shift D to duplicate them, then P and choose selection to separate them. Select the new object, add loop cuts, and subdivide it twice. Go to the modifier tab, add a shrink wrap modifier, and set the perfume body as the target. Set the offset to 0 .002. Go to the shading tab, select the label, and unlink the materials by clicking on the number 2 next to the material name. Add a principled BSDF node, then add a mixed shader node, and place it between the glass BSDF and material output nodes. Connect the principal BSDF color to the mix shader's second shader input. Add an image texture node, connect it to the mix shader's factor, and load the text label image. Go to the UV editing tab. If your faces are still selected, press U and choose unwrap. Select the UV island, adjust it to fit perfectly, rotate and scale it if needed.
And that's it. Now you have a beautiful, realistic perfume bottle. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more Blender content. See you in the next one.